So we've got our web presenter. How's that? It's working. How do you get audio into it? Stay tuned. So you've got your web presenter and now you want to get some audio into it. Now you, you can go with the default camera audio, but the cameras themselves don't necessarily put out the best audio for live streaming or for um, production video quality. So what we've got to do is get some other type of audio into the web presenter. Now, easy enough, you can just use the default audio, but with a mixing desk, what you can do is you can have multiple inputs, plus you can also add a level of control on top of that. So you can take the audio from your mixing desk and then you can insert it into the web presenter. Now, the web presenter doesn't have a uh, dedicated audio, analog audio input. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take uh, the SDI feed from the camera and then we're going to have to add audio into it. So I'm going to use that using the Blackmagic Design Audio to SDI Converter or Embedder. So let's have a look at it now. I don't usually do um, unboxings, but in this case I thought I would just to add a little bit of a level of detail onto it. Okay, off we go. So let's look at the box here. Uh, generally when they come, they're wrapped in plastic and it's a sealed unit. If your box has been opened, um, you'll need to check to make sure that uh, all the equipment is actually in the box. Okay, so let's open it up. I use a little screwdriver just because it's habit. Um, so we have to just, as I say, tear off this uh, plastic wrapper and as you said before, make sure it's all in one, one piece before you do it. Okay, here's the box and let's go and open it up. Now sometimes these are a bit tricky to open, um, the boxes can get a little bit caught, but this one seems to be okay. Sorry it's a little bit out of frame, I'm just using a camera that's got a good close up on it, so um, so we'll just have to, have to go with what we've got. Okay, so let's see, we've got an inside box here. And if I just undo the side here, you'll see we've got lots and lots of different power adapters for different countries. We've got the uh, universal power supply, uh, which is, I believe, 110 and 240 volts. Um, so let's just open the plastic bag here, which has got the adapter for New Zealand, where I am. Okay, there we go. Now, first of all, we have to remove the plastic protector from the pins and then just slide that on until it clicks. Just double check to make sure it's um, gone home properly and locked in. Okay, and this is the unit itself. Pretty small, pretty straightforward. It's got four inputs on the left hand side for a 6.5 phono plug. And on the right hand side, you've got three SDI connections. Uh, and you've got your power supply, which matches up with the DC power supply, 12 volts. And on the other side, you've got your USB for doing updates and making sure that it's kept up to date. On the back, we've got a table which relates to the dip switches on the side. And that is so that we can determine what our audio input type is and the quality um, that we're getting. On those dip switches, um, it's a little bit of a pain because it's back to front. So we have to rotate the unit um, to have them facing in the right direction. Um, but as you say, see here, we've got the list. I'm going to be just using one input. So that's turning off inputs five and six. So there we go. That's the device itself, very straightforward. Now the three documents that come with it, the first one is a little bit of a promo and a link to DaVinci Resolve 17. And you can download DaVinci Resolve 17. And it's a free version. Um, it doesn't have some of the um, uh, features in the color page, but it has got Fusion built into it. There's a couple of stickers for you and a link to, uh, or another document rather, and this one is a link to download any of the manuals that you might need for this particular device. So all in all, very straightforward. In the old days, you used to get a SD card in the devices you buy, but in this case, we're just getting a, uh, a link to the download pages. So there we go. 
Easy Unboxing Analog SDI Converter. So let's look at the mixer. This mixer is a Zoom LiveTrack L8 and it has three outputs which are analog. It has two XLRs and one 6.5 phono plug which are the master outputs. I also have a microphone connected to slot 6. So here's the 6.5 which I'm using to link straight to the audio input on the SDI connector. And as, as I said before, here's the microphone which is plugged into line 6. Now as you'll see below, the master and the line volume are controllable via the actual mixing desk itself. So you can change the fine tuning on that output. Okay, so let's have a look at the audio to SDI converter there. On the left hand side, we've got the audio input coming in on the first channel of the 6.5 and that's going to be connected uh, to directly to that master output on the mixing desk. Now on the right hand side, we've got the power then we also have our video feed, which is the one with the SDI cable with the red cable gland on it. And then we've got another one, which is the SDI output, which is combining the audio with the 6.5 in, and that's going into the SDI input on the we presented there. Now I've just got a Shogun Inferno there, so you can see the audio levels uh, as I'm speaking. So the only modification that I needed to do to the audio to SDI converter because I'm using channel 1 and it's analog audio is to just hit 5 and 6 on the dip switches and turn those off and otherwise it's very straightforward from that point of view. So if I'm happy with the output level going to the venue through the XLR connections and I need to change the audio level that's going to the audio to SDI converter, I can just change that by adjusting the knob on the uh, output on the master just next to the 6.5 phono connection. So there you have it, how to get SDI with embedded analog audio. Just as easy as that. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and maybe I can answer them in an upcoming video. But don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I'm Matthew, this is Video Scene, take care.